Dan biar tanya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, Dr. Zakir. Ahlan wa sahlan ila Terenjanu. I'm Siti Hajar binti Rashid. I'm a medical student and you are a medical doctor. I think you will understand me more. Uh, doctor, my question is why, uh, before, before it, I want to say something that why uh, government never appreciate people like me and also my friends? Maybe one day, the better treatment for cancer and also other illness are discovered by people like me and also my friends. Until today, doctor, I depend on loan which high profit. Can you repeat the question okay. a bit slowly, if you don't mind, sister? Okay, the okay, first one I didn't catch, it's my fault. Okay. Can you repeat the question, sister? Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, doctor, uh, <laughs> doctor, uh, why government never appreciate people like me and also <laughs> my friends? Maybe one day the treatment, the better treatment for cancer and also other illness are discovered by future doctors like me and also my friends. Until today, doctor, I depend on loan to support my study known as PTPTN, which high of uh, interest, known as RIBA. Yeah. Is it for me, uh, is it fair for me and also my friends? My question is, doctor, My question, Doctor, what is the punishment for the someone who treat me and also my friends like this, Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, doctor, uh, before that, uh, my last word, please pray for my success. Thank Insha you. Inshallah. <laughs> Sister has asked me a very difficult question. She has asked me that why doesn't the government appreciate her? And I believe she's a medical doctor, and I think she's doing research on cancer. And she, the government doesn't appreciate her, and inshallah, she will find the treatment for cancer. And why? I, I don't know your government very well, but one thing I know, but one thing I know that your government has appreciated me, mashallah. Your government in 2013 gave me the Toko Mal Hijra Award. I don't know why they selected me. I don't think so, I deserve it. But I appreciate they appreciating me as a die. I don't think whether I deserve the award, but the government has appreciated me, so I have to say Jazakallah to them. Regarding your work, maybe you weren't able to prove to them. And one thing, sister, the thing you have to realize is that when a doctor is doing research, there may be 100 doctors who have certain remedy. Why this? High fees. High fees on loans. No, but she told me that why they appreciating you. Yes. And you told me you are doing research on cancer, correct? I, I think I said that maybe the, um, the treatment for cancer are discovered by people like me and correct. also my friends. Yes, I understood you correctly. Uh, yes. I understood you correctly. You understand me well. Very well, thank you. Uh, Thank you. My wife that. didn't understand you well, but I understood you well. And you rightly said, and you rightly said, I will understand you because I'm a doctor and my wife is not a doctor. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So, the, so I understood you correct that you are saying maybe you will find the treatment for cancer. And coming to your second part of your question, you said that why are they charging so high fees? And you have to take loan, and you have to take loan in Raba, and then is it wrong or is it haram or halal taking loan? Sister, point number one. I, being a medical doctor, normally for a medical student to train a student in medicine, the government or any medical college have to spend hundreds of thousands of ringgits. I know that. And normally, most of the countries in the world the government colleges, what fees they charge is a small percentage of what they spent. A small percentage. 
this comes from the government quota as support most of and i believe even even malaysian government but there are certain colleges which charge capitation fees if you do not get merit seat and that is in india also if you don't get merit seat that means i don't score about 95 out of 100 in pcb physics chemistry and biology i have to go to a capitation college now when i go to a capitation college the problem is in me not in the government because i did not qualify to get a merit seat i'm getting a seat by money so if i go to a government college i don't know of anywhere in the world where the government colleges charge high fees yes there are certain colleges in many countries including india that i'm aware of that it's a private college where they charge high fees because the government doesn't subsidize them the government only subsidizes the government college and that's a fact so if a private person is saying i want to open a college i want to open a medical college so the government says fine we give you permission but you should give us out of maybe 200 seats 50 seat to the government the balance 150 seat you can charge normal fees so here the government gives the permission to a private college a private organization to make a college which cost millions of dollars millions of ringgits and then they give maybe 50 seats as merit and the balance 150 is fees which is normally what is spent by the organization now when the organization which is giving you a chance to become a doctor i would like to know sister are you are you studying in a government college or a private college government college and what is the fees it's about three thousand and sixty hundred uh, per year per year 3,000 ringgit per year is less than a thousand. 3,000 ringgit is less than a thousand dollars. Correct? Um, 3,600 ringgit is less than a thousand dollars. Where in the world? Where in the world? I challenge you, anyone in the world, to make a medical college which spends thousand dollars. It's not possible, sister. Even so. It is wrong to say that the government is charging. You should say, yes, the government is subsidizing 90%. They should subsidize 95 That you can say. So, sister, you should know that to run a college, medical college with the equipment, etc., it costs a lot of money. On per student, it is tens of thousands of dollars, depending upon the standard. But whichever standard you're running, no college in the world can run on charging $1,000 a year for a student so you got a merit seat yes that's a different question that you may not be able to pay thousand dollars fees or three thousand six hundred ringgit so here islam has a solution if you cannot afford it islam has a solution of zakat and i know malaysia mashallah has got a baitul mal correct if you can't afford that there'll be many people who will be willing like for us in Bombay anyone in India any Muslim who gets a merit seat we will fund them full no problem merit seat is nothing peanuts we even fund if the person is a good guy we even give the competition fees which is big amounts which is how much fifty thousand dollars how much fifty thousand dollars so what do you have to realize sister and why should you take riba if someone in India tells me he has taken riba, understandable. Malaysia is a country which even promotes interest fee banking. And I'm a student of interest fee banking, being a medical doctor. Malaysia has a system of interest fee banking. If you're taking a loan, why are you taking a loan from a riba bank? It's your fault, sister. If someone in India tells me he had no option, he has an excuse. You, sister, being a Muslim, uh, mashallah, you seem to be practicing Muslim with hijab, etc. If you have to take a loan, take a loan from Islamic bank. And they'll willingly give you. Why won't they give you? 3,000 ringgits is peanuts. Peanuts. If you can't get from here, I will fund your fees. <laughs> I will give from my... I don't have to. I'm not a rich man. But 3,000 ringgit is nothing, sister. Islamic Research Foundation is a small organization. We have Islamic Research Foundation International. So 3,600 ringgit is nothing, sister. Surely there are many people. If you don't find, it will be my pleasure to fund you and your friends also, inshallah. How many friends do you have? How many? Um, 
my friends? How many friends do you have? Um, my classmate is about 141. All those who want help, how many are there? How many of your friends who are like you who cannot pay the fees? Actually, it's okay. It's about um, actually the person who do not get scholarship is about eighty percent, eighty of my friends. All the eighty of your friends, inshallah. If they can't get, I will fund, inshallah, till they complete the medical college, inshallah. Okay, thank you, doctor. You're the most welcome. <laughs> but please, please don't blame the government. The government is a good government. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Welcome. Can we have the next patient, please?